Hey guys, welcome to another one. This time we have in our hands the newly released Intel Core i5-11400. And in today's video, we are going to make a PC build using this CPU, as well as we are going to compare its performance against our other builds we did in the past. So stay tuned. So let's talk about specs first. Now comparing it to its predecessor, the Core i5-10400, not much has changed. We have again a 6-core, 12-threaded processor based on the 14 nanometer technology using the exact same LGA-1200 socket with a 2.6 GHz base clock which can boost up to 4.2 GHz all core and 4.4 GHz on one core. Now the main difference is that it now supports PCI Express 4.0 using 20 lanes which you can make use of as long as you have a compatible motherboard. The 11400 costs about 180 US dollars at the moment and you could also get the 11400F without integrated graphics for about 160 US dollars. As of today, you could get the Ryzen 5 3600 at about the same price, whereas in order to get the recently released Ryzen 5 5600X, you should pay almost double the price, which may not be the best option in terms of price to performance ratio. So let's go to the build now and then see what the i5-11400 is capable of. Starting from the case, we will use the Deepcool McCube 110 in white, along with three 120mm RGB fans, also from Deepcool. The motherboard we are using is the ASRock H570M Pro 4, paired with 16GB of 3000MHz CL16 RAM from HyperX. To cool the CPU, we will use the Deepcool AS500, which by the way we have reviewed recently and I suggest taking a look at it, as it's an amazing air cooler, to be honest. For storage, we have a budget 480GB Kingston M.2 SSD, and the GPU we are using is the RTX 3070 from Gainword. All these parts will be powered by a 600 watt Be Quiet power supply, which is more than enough for this setup. Now, without further ado, let's get into the build and see how it performs, and how it compares to our other builds as a whole. See you all after that.
the result is quite nice. All parts sit together perfectly and as a whole, it came up very clean and nice looking. As we saw, the i5-11400 on this configuration, paired with the RTX 3070, gave pretty nice results, but we did also retest its performance with faster RAM, and as we saw, it did benefit a lot, where in some cases, it performed a bit better than the Ryzen 5 5600X. Now, most of the time, it was slower than the 5600X, but if you consider the fact that the price of the 11400 is much, much lower, it makes it a really good option if you are looking for a budget CPU and motherboard combo that performs as good as the AMD counterpart. One thing I should mention here is that with the release of the 11th gen, you don't need a Z series motherboard in order to run faster memory. Intel did unlock this function on H and B series boards also, so that's a huge plus in price to performance ratio. All the parts we use for this build will be listed in the description of the video, in case you want to build a similar system. Now thank you all for watching and I hope you liked the build. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, and follow us on Instagram. Peace.